Good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. <laughs> it is still afternoon. Welcome to my daily broadcast. Um, my name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, and help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And I'll come back to that in a second. Every day I do a talk called Messages to the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. This is number 362. Sorry, I'm smiling because I'm re- I know some people, friends of mine are doing like 30-day Facebook Live challenges and stuff. And I went, I remember when I started one of those a year ago. Um, <laughs> let's do a going. <clears throat> so this is number 362 in ongoing series, talk, you know, ongoing series of talks. And this one... I um, actually just saw a friend of mine post something and it just it, it triggered me to talk about this, or I should say um, fueled me to talk about this. Because this one's about the challenge of the gender differences in terms of communication. And this, this I hope, will be an educational talk. <laughs> it may, go, it may sh- throw you into a complete funk or confusion of realizing what you may have done in the past. But hopefully I hope you get to a clarity. Because what I'm talking about is when we realize that we misunderstand each other and... It sounds so trite, and that's intentionally so, but really what I'm starting to talk about, what I'll start from, and then talk about, trying to conflate things together, is that men and women don't understand each other. And we think we do. And then we make massive assumptions and screw up our relationships. And of course, none of you have ever done that, I'm sure. So um, to put, or to um, put a premise on this, This is really from my own study, learning from various teachers, and there's a lot of good ones out there that I've I've distilled into a way into my own understanding, and also I put it into my book and into a lot of the work I do with my clients, and a lot of my own understanding in my own relationship with other people, men and women, because this is true beyond just our romantic relationships, it's about living in the world as well. And so the simple point is, and if I use John Gray's um, teaching model as a platform to start from, is it almost as if we're from different planets, men and women, that is. You know, men are from Mars, women are from Venus, was John Gray's um, tribute to, the, <laughs> to that understanding. And also a great break, breakthrough in a lot of the teachings about how we are so different in how we communicate and how we don't communicate. And so I want to bring some of that into this conversation because what I'm aware of and I was talking, um, I was actually be interviewed earlier today for a, um, a networking group that I'm going to be part of, helping a lot of women to claim their power and own their, own their strength in a way that is a very new way for them to do that because they've been raised a different way than, they've been raised to believe things aren't true about them now. But in that conversation, in that, con- in that conversation, I'm trying to articulate clearly myself, um, there were some instances where I recognized that difference in communication that we miss a lot of the times, that we just completely miss. So let me lay some things on the table for you that might help you have better understanding. First of all, and this is going to sound so obvious, I know, um, we men aren't very good at emotional expression. Like, oh, surprise, surprise. That also means that we men, generally speaking, are not very good at understanding emotional expression by somebody else, as in our female partner. And that leads to all sorts of confusion, conflict, and upset. Because okay, I'm gonna that. I was watching which way I was going to go, so I'm going to go this way first and see where it goes. First of all, men generally think intimacy is sex. What's it going to do with communication? I'll get there in a second. So the way that we interact with our female partners is sex means physical touch. It means naked bodies. It means all those different pieces that are the sexual union. And again, these are generalizations, so I'm going to get some more details in a moment. But that's a general scheme, sense of things that we are, we understand. For the men to understand something, women look at intimacy largely as an emotional connection. Ain't nothing to do with skin, sex, and nakedness. 
And some of them are going, what? <laughs> but this is the thing that's such an eye-opener for so many of us. Such a simple thing as connection and intimacy is not understood. So how can you have intimacy when you don't meet at the level of that? If we're focused, like the idea of, I mean, just totally on a different parallel, like the Five, five Love Languages by Gary Chapman, we talk about how expression of love can happen through different ways. For example, one of you has a, has a um, love language of physical touch, but the other one has a love language of words of affirmation. This one keeps telling you they love you, but you don't feel it because you're not connected, and then you keep touching the person because you express love, and they don't get it either because they're not hearing it from you. That disconnect is the same thing with intimacy. See, men and women, generally speaking, generalizations, because men are connected to intimacy through physical connection, women are generally connected to intimacy from an emotional connection first. Now it deepens after that. But that's one part of the challenge. Another part of the, the challenge of communication to men and women is that we, men and women, express upset and anger very differently and for different reasons and for different purposes. Most kind of the same thing. And that difference makes a huge difference in understanding, accepting, and appreciating each other. So how do I break that down? So journey for I'm going to say this in one way or the other. Hmm. Okay, I've got to play with this a little bit. Tease it out. Generally speaking, and I'm, I'm careful how I'm wording this because I want to make sure it's clean, women express anger, oftentimes an upset feelings in a way that is not necessarily aimed at your at you as a partner for the men and okay I want to go I'm just, I'm just I'm rebuilding this out so um just reviewing how to put it, put this out there hang on one second all right Thanks for, the, thanks for the thumbs up, by the way. I appreciate that. Okay. So when a woman is upset, and I'm sure I've shared this before, I think. This is stuff I actually learned originally from Alison Armstrong, but also there's some other people I'm studying with that sort of complement the teaching. So when ladies are upset, or when you're a woman, you're upset, and you want to express, most men don't yet know, hopefully this will help them, the best course of action is to stay present. Which for most men is like, what? Because most men generally have, um, I would say three ways of responding, none of which are gonna work. So let me give you those three so you know not to do them in the future for the men. First of all, um, one thing men do is, well, I'll say this. One thing men do when their woman gets upset is to run away. As in, go later, walk away, and close off them, and, go, and walk away. Wrong move. Second option that men do, um, often to react to a woman's upset, is they will do their best, as we're very wired to do so, to fix it. Because we as natural, one of our natural gifts is to fix things, as men. And if you've got something if you're upset with something that's something that's broken so we can fix it that's kind of the wiring inside again not a bad not a wise move that's two definite not good choices the third one is almost as bad well, actually pretty as bad because it doesn't work either which is this when a woman gets upset the man does the worst well probably the worst thing possible in a way is he attempts to defend himself by either explaining um, counter arguing or dominating his partner None of which are going to work. So you make one of those three choices, run away, fix, defend. You're going to ruin your relationship. And you're going to, you have no hope of intimacy. Because the intimacy, again, is an emotional connection for women especially. And you're going to get no physical intimacy if you don't resolve this either. So the way for men to be, from a, from a male partner to be with his female partner, to really be a place of honoring 
key word, where she is, is as I said, stay present. Not easy for us to do, because we're not wired to do that. But if we can, and for men that are learning this, it's changing their lives and their relationships, is staying in that grounded space, being present, being in a place of centeredness. Not to look, not to be like ignoring, because that's another thing. Staying present is to be witness, not to be tuned out. That's also another option. So that may be the fourth one of not to do, what things not to do. Staying present with your partner, with your woman, so that she can express what's going through. And basically, this is the key thing. It's kind of like Aikido in a way, because what we're doing as men is we're not taking it personally. It's almost like we're moving out of the way and let it come past us as it comes through. But we're staying present because it's in service to our partner. It's also in service to intimacy because the other part of this is, as crazy as it's going to sound for some of the men watching this, is that creates intimacy. Just staying present, witnessing, and letting your, your woman vent and release and express all the upsets, let it come past you. She, first of all, it builds great trust. It also, great, also gives her a chance to get free and get light and get free and get um, lifted again. And it creates in, intimacy between you because you didn't shy away, try to fix or do the other things I, I mentioned. None of those four things I mentioned earlier would actually help you with that. As I said, they would destroy trust. They would destroy intimacy and they would destroy your relationship. So when you, when you as a man know how to stand in that space to be present with your, with your female partner, to actually stay present, to listen, not to try and fix, not to defend, not to run away. There was a fourth one I threw in there earlier, but I'll come back to that one. But actually to stay present, listen, and be in an open space, then she can be free. Because the biggest part of this is there's nothing for us to do as men. The, the, as crazy as it sounds for a lot of men, they're going, no, we must do something. When we don't have to do something except stay present, hold the space, and if need, hold, literally hold the space for your, part, for your woman, magical things can happen. It's, an easy, it's actually an easier thing to do, but we're not trained that way. And this is part of the challenge with communication between men and women, is neither one of us have been trained how to communicate effectively. That's what I've been studying for the last 11 years is this recognition about how the differences of course the problems in our relationships because we don't know how to interact with each other. So intimacy was one of the things I talked about. Expressing anger is the second one I talked about. The other part is also, I'm gonna give, give you this one too, I'm just gonna realize there's just a few things I wanna give you as, as um, suggestions. This other one comes up which is subtlety. And I mean this in a certain way, which is the way we communicate with each other is so different. For example, I remember seeing this, this meme recently. When a woman asks a man how he's feeling and he says fine, that's all that's going on. He feels fine. When a man asks a woman if she feels fine, sorry, if, when a man asks a woman how she's feeling she says fine, that's the tip of the iceberg. So very different expressions, just to be clear about that from the different perspectives. So recognizing that, again, we have different languages, we have different descriptions, we have different emotional landscapes internally between men and women, is a first step towards transforming our relationship quality or relationship experience. And so to understand that for men and women, to recognize that when we're communicating to each other, the other person doesn't necessarily have a roadmap or a understanding of how we're communicating. It helps for you to maybe be more differential and be willing to reframe and make sure your partner understands. Here's a tip, a big tip, by the way. When you're in communication with your partner, men and women, particularly in this direction, this is more for straight connection versus gay, but also this is true outside of romantic relationships, there's a need communication, is a lot of times when you're listening to somebody talk to you and you have a conversation, actually it's very wise if you are trying to get what they're saying clearly is to, one, ask them, sorry, is to actually say, say back to them what you heard and then ask them if that was accurate or not, if you actually heard what they said. Because, again, to men and women, communication is a different language almost. Going back to Mars and Venus from John Gray. So when you think you know what the other person said, that could be the first step in the wrong direction. So getting clarity, getting an understanding of how you communicate and clarifying what you heard is the truth so you understand what they mean 
then you can move forward. I've been grateful for the teachers I've had that have helped me really get to this point where I understand more. At the same time, I also know where I don't understand a lot, so I'm going to be more willing to ask. But up until that point, I made a lot of assumptions, and I think a lot of people out there have done the same thing. So that's three, I and mean, there's, there's a lot more I can talk about, but I want to give you those three just to get you started on the understanding is that we don't understand each other and that there's a great deal of opportunity to grow in understanding, communication, connection that will allow us to become more intimate, more connected, and more enjoy, enjoying of our relationship with each other because we can connect on a different level, which is a much healthier level. I think that's going to cover it. I, mean, I, I was trying to figure out what to say in this, talk, in this talk, but this is kind of what's fundamental. Is these are teaching moments that will help you, help you get where you want to go. If you want more of this stuff, I do offer lots of opportunities. This is my 330, sorry, 360 second Facebook Live. So there's a lot more of these out there. Um, they cover a whole gamut of conversation. In fact, recent ones have been very interesting about um, not being a victim to other people's upset. That's another teaching, by the way, and which I just mentioned earlier in this one. So it ties together. How nice. So if you got in this broadcast late, please go back and watch from the beginning. There were some useful, I think, useful teachings there for you. Um, this is my ongoing commitment to serve and express and inspire. So even though in, what, two, three days I'll be at 365 broadcasts, I'm going to keep going because, one, because I, did, I didn't I did start with number one on day one, number two and day two. I, think I had a gap in between them, and I want to do 365 in a row. But secondly, there's just so much to talk about, love and relationships. If you want help in this area, if you're stuck in this area with love and relationships, you want real support, service, and guidance to know how to love yourself, Heal your heart and attract a real relationship. The simplest way is to sign up for a discovery session with me. This is the work I do. Obviously, I hope you can tell that. This is my service, my work, and my commitment to the world. Um, on my website, if you go to barryselby.com, which is my name, click on the Let's Chat. We can sign up for a 30-minute discovery session with me, and I can help you get clarity of where you want to go, what you're looking for, and some next steps. If you haven't seen this other broadcast of my talks on Facebook Live, they also are on YouTube, and you can find all my broadcasts on YouTube. Let's do it there first. Um, my user channel is Barry Selby, and the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. They also live on Facebook um, forever. Well, as long as Facebook's around. On my business page, which is barryselby.author, and also on my website, which is barryselby.com, again. And look at the video blog, although, frankly, I recommend looking at them on Facebook or on YouTube because on my website, that page is getting very loaded with 360-plus Facebook Lives, um, Sorry, 360 plus broadcasts. It's a very heavy, it's a very slow loading page, so I don't recommend going there. But the rest of my site, definitely check it out. If you have any questions about this topic, please put them below in the comments. And if you know anybody should watch this, please share it with them as well. And uh, with that, I think we'll sign off. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being with me. And I hope this makes sense to you. And if it does, let me know in the comments of that, about that too. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care.